The state Catholic school attended by Nick Clegg's son has launched a high court challenge after it was accused of discriminating against some pupils because of their background. London Oratory, which also educated Tony Blair's sons, is fighting back after it was found to have broken school admissions rules more than a hundred times. Here's our education reporter, Mark Ashton. It's one of England's oldest and most distinguished schools. Promising top results, there is a clamour to get in. Typically, around 811 year old boys applying for just 160 places. But last year, the school's adjudicator investigated just how they're allocated and found a raft of breaches to the rules. It found they were asking for baptism certificates for the child and both parents, were favouring those who gave support to the church, like flower arranging or choir singing and weren't allowing admission of children of no faith. In total, it found they broke the rules on schools' admissions 105 times over two years. The school has taken the matter to the High Court, claiming changes would threaten its entire ethos. In court, the school's legal team explained it was founded in 1863 to serve Catholic families from across London. It takes pupils from 400 parishes in 25 boroughs. The admissions policy, they argued, has always been open, transparent and fair. But the adjudicator found just 6% of pupils are on free school meals, well below average, and concluded the policies discriminated against pupils on their ethnicity and those who are less well off. The British Humanist Association made the original complaint and says this is a wider issue which needs addressing. Ideally what we'd like to see is no school religiously selecting because we don't think it's right that uh, children are split up based on the religion of their parents but uh, getting rid of the most egregious aspects of that I think is an important first step. Admissions is a hot topic after Greycoat, where the Prime Minister's daughter will go, was criticised for apparently asking for money when pupils accept a place. That's also against the rules. There are growing calls for a review of the system. The outcome of the oratory case will be keenly anticipated. Mark Ashdown, BBC London News.